right, well, welcome to part four. I know it's been a couple of days or I think nearly a week since I did part three, but again, I've just been pretty busy lately again, that time of year. Um, now busy, you know, um, sorting out Christmas stuff, etc. Yeah, uh, as you can see, well, put a lot more detail, put some benches there outside the pub. I know they're like railway station benches, but still, they, they, well, add up the detail. <laughs> They, they look alright there, and a, a couple of people. don't know, I might put a little more detail on this. I, I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. I mean, it, it still looks good just like that. But yeah, I'll see what else I can do. So this time, we're going to have the 08 shunter shunting this large four-wheel van. Yes, and as you can see, yes, uh, uh, this is what was the... Well, um, at the time... Um, uh, well, yeah, yeah, well, still is, if you, if, you, if you think about it. Yeah, the... 70 year anniversary of Hornby, yeah, Hornby 00, 1938, Hornby 2008. I think I've shown, I think I've shown this van before on the main layout, yeah, and explained before, but did I show it on the first window bottom layout? I can't remember if I did, I don't, I don't think I did. I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway, um, even if I did, um, you yeah, see, I, I really can't remember, but again, even if I did, uh, we're going to see it being, yeah, see it being shunted into the good shape because of the long size of it. It, it should fit in there perfectly, uh, yeah, just on its own. And of course, it has the, yeah, it's got the sliding doors on there. Uh, yeah, I wonder, yeah, well, um, I can't believe, yeah, I got this van in 2008. I can't believe the, the year 2008 is coming up 10 years. Uh, would you believe that? Where have the last 10 years gone? Uh, yeah, well, because they did a 70 year, what I'm sure that, I'm sure Hombi will do, well, if they can, um, you know, because they haven't been going through the best of times recently, have they? It's been quite confusing what's going on with Hornby. Well, this was to do with the chairman or something, but I hope, I hope they get it sorted out. It, 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 honestly, it would be tragic if they went under or, you know, or if this got any worse. But anyway, um, if they're able to do an 80-year anniversary wagon or van, or, or um, it, might, it might be one like this, maybe just a, a, a different colour. And with 80 years of Hornby on and Hornby 00 1938 to Hornby 2018. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, um, hopefully they will. Yep, hopefully they will do a 80 year anniversary one, 80 years, and if they do, I'll probably get it and uh, well, well, like have, the, have these two together, have like a 10, you know, like a 10 year thing, 2008 to 2018, again, just does not feel 10 years ago, well, almost 10 years ago. Right, let's see that van being shunted around. So usual procedure: runner out onto the outside track, runner up to the buffers, and then and then back down on, on, under the um, canopy roof of the good shed, and then push the van back into the shed itself. Oh, oh, she's kind of cut out there. Hmm, first time that's happened. Okay, I've just given that bit of track a clean, let's try that again. Oh, just. I know some of the shots are, are a little bit dark, but again, it's, uh, again, I can't really have the sunlight beaming down on it, that's why I put the piece of paper there. It's more lit up on this side, of course, I'll just even get a few shots. A bit more difficult, but... I 
I, I know on the past two window bottom layouts, I had a yeah, I used a little three three legged tripod I've got and um, placed it about there so we get a view over across like that. But yeah, yeah, with the good shed being here, I mean, again there is space for the tripod to go here, but with the good shed being here, it's a, it's a yeah, it's a it'll be a little bit more difficult. Let us shunt the Hornby 70th anniversary van into the shed. Again, it should fit nice and comfortably in there. You know, the long size of it. Well, uh, well the length, should, should I say. Yeah, she went backwards over the points there. Well, I think it was just with that with that other point set. And yes, I was right. That van, it pretty much perfectly, well, very comfortably fits in there. Again, of course, you know, only a small shed, so it does take up all of it. But, uh, but yes. And again, just see her leave it there. Okay, with her just popped up there a second. I'll get the torch so we can see in there. It's a bit... Where well, you can just see the writing on the door there. It's a bit dark and gloomy. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Yep, with the sliding door open. Yep, just like the van has been unloaded or about to be loaded. Well, there's there's no goods on the platform bit, but you can, still still looks good. Again, she yeah, perfectly fits in the shed. Wait, well, it's when it takes up all of it, but, but, well, you know, well, she's a long van, but fits in there perfectly. Right, with the Humby van just parked back there in this siding. Here we have a, a large baggage or, or luggage car. Yeah, this is the type of one which goes in passenger trains, because as you can see, yeah, it's got the doorways on the end. But I think, yeah, um, I think it looked good on here. It, uh, it hasn't been out for a long time either. I'm going to have it here. Yeah, I've got both these on because you'll see what you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. Um, yeah, and the oh, it's going to reverse, um, couple onto the luggage van, just push it into the good shed for a second and then you'll see, uh, you'll see what I'll do next. Push it back into the shed. And yeah, well, it almost fits, doesn't it? It's uh, just just sticking up, peeping out there. But yeah, that actually fits in quite well. Uh, and you can just see there. Some, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, the windows by the doors there. Yeah, sometimes looking at it, we're like, a, well, as long as you can just see them, we can just see there a more darker picture, so it makes it look a bit more atmospheric if you think about it. Well, sort of like well, night work in a well, just not very well lit. Right. I'll explain what we're going to do in a second. Let's just pull the baggage car out out of the shed. And with those points set again, we're going to couple the baggage car onto the Hombi anniversary van. They'll run to here, then, then back down. And then we're going to um, sh shunt them into separate sidings. Well, the Humby van will go back into the good shed and the baggage car will go into this siding here. Let's get them coupled. Yeah, she seems to be okay going with them. Maybe there's slight hesitation, but again, you know, if she cuts out, she cuts out. Mm, she seemed okay there. Okay, she, well, she very, very, very rarely cuts out.
and with with both fans. Again, again, it's getting a bit gloomy, I know, but because let's see the train. No, I mean the shutter itself shows up better. It's the the quite dark shades of blue. So well, the package car is very, very dark, isn't it? Always behaves well. This shunter, he's not, he's not a devious one. <laughs> he's a very calm, calm and steady one. Right, point set. Let's shunt the the Hornbit anniversary van into the good shed, and then the baggage car into the outside siding. And then now for the baggage car, into the siding. So that was part four. I hope you enjoyed it. Quite a long one now, wasn't it? Yeah, while shunting two different types of vans. Again, the Hombi one is in there. It's just quite dark and gloomy. It's just, oh, you can just see peeping up there. Again, um, quite quite dark shades of blue, aren't they? Yeah, so it doesn't really help when, it's, when the light's not brilliant. But again, we can all see what's going on, can't we? Now, part five, which will, yeah, um, which will, um, be the last part before Christmas because again as I said this this one's going to continue on early in, into the new year again you'll see what comes up um, I don't, I don't want to reveal anything just yet but part five should be on the way within within the next week or so um, again just got quite a busy week next week but it should be on the way within the next six to, um, to seven days it, it will be on the way so around this time next week or, or, or just before keep a lookout keep a lookout for some more shunting on the way